Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another one. Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today we are gonna go out and do a goose hunt. Well, it's actually one that happened a few days ago. Uh, did a whole lot better than what I was afraid we would. It, it was an interesting one. Uh, it was a soft feed. There was about a thousand birds in it and the field right next to it that it was touching had about, oh, maybe 3K in it, something like that. So not huge, but pretty good sized feeds. There was a mix of light and dark. Um, these birds had gotten, we shot them on, this hunt was from Sunday. They had been shot the Saturday before and the Friday and the Thursday. And so we were like the fourth day of them getting beaten on. So they're a little decoy shy. Um, some did a really, really, really well. Uh, others, uh, looking at the footage, they look a whole lot closer in person. And when we had good wind like we did, when they take a while to creep up on you, uh, they seem a whole lot closer than they are sometimes. So there are some shots that are a little bit, uh, reaching we'll say uh but yeah hopefully you guys enjoy the hunt but before we get into the whole thing i did want to show you guys uh the shotgun i've been using well pretty much the second half of the season i think there's a sixth hunt something like that that i've taken this uh this shotgun with and sorry i said that wrong this is the sixth hunt that i took the shotgun along with uh it is a 20 gauge um let me break it down and show you exactly what i like about it Okay guys, here is the gun that I've been using for about the last five, six hunts, something like that. This is the Silver Eagle 202. Um, it is their 20 gauge. It is a gas operated gun. And so far it has not done me wrong. It has cycled everything from light loads to the heavy loads. It has treated me pretty good. Uh, I would love, I love my double bead. It hasn't treated me wrong without it, but it's one of those things where I'm just used to that. So that was a little bit to get used to. But one thing I really like about it, it is six and a half pounds, I think. Might be a little bit more or less than that, but right around six and a half pounds. Um, so it's pretty lightweight. It does shoulder real nice. I do like the way it comes up. It's not overly thin. Uh, one of the guns that I had bought before, um, it has a really, really small grip and I didn't really care for that. Um, it was also a 20 gauge. The, I wanted a 20 gauge with a three inch chamber, which this is chambered in three inch. The one I had before that, it was uh, an 1100, I believe, and it only chambered two and three quarter. So got a hold of this one. So far, it has cycled everything I've fed it. I have no complaints there. Uh, one thing that was, I, it's not a big deal, but so when I went, I just pulled out of the box. I didn't actually check anything before I took it hunting. I was like, I'm gonna shoot it straight out. Um, and it cycled flawlessly. It just took me a second because I didn't read the manual. The plug, it's really, really easy to get. I mean, it just sits right there on top of everything. I really do like that. Uh, I did have to trim just a little bit off of it to get my second shell in there. Not a big deal, but if you're out in the field and you didn't have a knife with you, like I did, then you're down to, to two shots, which it's not the end of the world. You probably actually shoot better knowing that you only have two, but it is a little frustrating sometimes uh, if you weren't expecting it. So that's one thing to look out for. Uh, make sure that you can get those extra shells in there but it's a real simple fix. It's super easy. I think I just cut an inch, it took me all of like two minutes. So there's that. One thing I really do like about it, actually I have a couple shells here with me somewhere. So when you go to chamber around, you just push this little button right there and it drops in and you can chamber it, right? Okay, but let's say you don't wanna cycle it through the uh, chamber, you know, safety, stuff like that. If you push the one here on the side, it does drop that one so you can just eject it out the bottom and drop it on the ground like that. So uh, that I thought was pretty cool. I had never had anything that was quite like that before. Um, it did confuse me a little bit because I've never had one like that before. So I pushed that trying to chamber one and you just gotta push this down there. So um, real nice, clean gun. Uh, I think they're right around 550 bucks, pretty cheap for a, a, it's a, it's a budget gun. Um, I can't complain. So if you're looking for a new one, uh, go check out Silver Eagle. They've got quite the line. So far, I'm impressed. So yeah, go check them out. It is shooting light. Spread doesn't look too bad. I kind of like it. But laying white, kind of salt and pepper spread here. Um, we do have some silos that trickle way out and beyond. But uh, I've been spending a lot of the morning just sitting here looking at the sunrise because it's a pretty one. But anyway, hopefully everything turns out the way we want. Man, I hope that can do any justice at all. I know it's gonna be nothing like it should be. Oh, so pretty. A 
if they want to do it nice like that. Closer, closer, closer. Shoot him. Well, yeah. yeah. What? 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 Oh man, we messed up. Oh, it's still going. Wow. Bulletproof. Oh, he's gonna die right there. Okay. Man, sorry, I didn't realize they got here that quick. That's my fault. I'm sorry. No, I didn't even look over. That's my fault. They're all specs. We can't shoot them anywhere, right? <laughs> yeah, I hear specs definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Should we stay? Should we sit up and shoot them? I want to get them. Yeah, before they get out of there. Nice shot. Well, they did it good, just around the outside edge. How do we pull them over? I don't know. What's going on over there? Oh, it's because we got all this. We got a little heavy. That's ah, cool. Are they gonna come back over us? That'd be kind of all right. We got a hole over there, George. Shoot him there. Crazy birds. They're coming back. What in the world? There's one dropping. We're gonna have to go get it. Yeah, man. Nero crash. Not very often they give you multiple looks, but we'll take it. Well, let's uh, definitely start out with a bang. Let's pick up birds. Stuff is working real good. So, quickly went and pulled a couple of silos. Brought them over here. Gave them more of an alley to come up. Um, they're wanting to land right there. We want them to come over here. But. It's doing good. There's there's a bunch of them coming off over there. But if we get these guys to come in like those last ones, I should probably turn my shot cam on. That'd be good. <laughs> Your lucky season's closed, dude. Shoot the signal up top. Got him. Feared one's better than none, right? I didn't even see it until you were right before you were like, shoot him. <laughs> I saw it, but I didn't think you were going to shoot at it. Well, I was like, <laughs> we have one that I know we can kill versus four that are just being jerks. So, hey, there's another one. The blue. The blue. <laughs> 
<laughs> that was a little sketch. Yeah, I know. We sky busted him. That's a cool blue, though. That's a pretty bird. He's dead, dead, though. But there's more birds coming to disappoint me, so I gotta get <laughs> These two on the right, we might shoot. <laughs> They're setting up on the left. I'm gonna let them ride. Shoot him. Both just shoot the low ones? Yeah. I was starting on the low ones, I saw everyone's gun go that way. He went down. Okay, good. I went for the one that was way up right here. The first did you get? Oh. Did you guys didn't go up there? I shot both of these, if okay, no one else good. did. I just saw everyone else's guns go forward. Well, should we see if... I think these might come back around. Well, I was hoping Let's see if they play. Coming just like on a rope. <laughs> the rest of them are following it, but these three are white. You guys want to just kill the whites? You want to wait on this other group too? All right. So everything is coming in hard. Oh Jesus! Yeah, that's these these whites are going to be these whites we got. Ready? And well, oh, they're right in the hole. Down there. dies before this clip ends. I didn't know if they were going to give us better than that. <laughs> Boy, we worked for those though. Jeez. Hey, we got one. I'll take it.
Down there. There we go. Way to be. Mean you just both smashed it. I didn't shoot it off. Oh. <laughs> they yeah. did it good. We could use a few more like that. I was hoping they were white. Yep, uh, there's a couple more lines of birds around. It's been about, what, 20, 30 minutes of probably not a whole lot. But uh, there's some stuff trickling around. Let's see if we can get a few more to do it like that. I will say, though, this uh, apex one. stuff, right. smashing. Yeah. Or at least it makes me feel like I'm smashing. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we got a good line. Hopefully these do it like all the little groups did. Hopefully they do it like the ones they did this morning. That'd be sweet. <laughs> hit him and all of a sudden he was like, oh, dang. <laughs> there you go. Nice. I had to shoot at least. <laughs> that is a tiny goose. Dude, that's like mallard size. You see it? See a baby? The baby goose. Look at how little he is. That's cool. Duck sized goose. I'll just set that there. Huh. Let's see how they act. Kill him over there. Sorry, I thought they were gonna peel out and not. Yeah. Yeah. Going to Failed him. Like shot, maybe. Right on. Let me go pick him up. <laughs> I see white. <laughs> <laughs> yep, gonna go ahead and pick her up. Looks pretty good though. That was fun. <laughs> Without the decoys. Looks like we made a mess. I love it. Well, here is how we ended up. Uh, we still have one sailor we gotta go pick up, but he's a half mile that way. So, we've got 19 darks. Look how pretty they are. And we got a half dozen snows. Juvie blue, really, mm, yeah, pretty birds. Anyway, not too bad for four guys at all. At least I'm happy. Well, well, you can't see the geese from here. Anyway, uh, guys, that does it for this whole video. So, hope you guys liked it. Again, that Silver Eagle, heck of a gun, especially if you're looking for a good entry-level gun. Um, it doesn't have all the bells and whistles that some of your fancier higher end guns will, but for 530, 550, whatever it is, it's a heck of a gun for uh, for the price point. So go check them out. There's a lot of cool stuff. If you guys want a little bit more in-depth review of the gun, uh, like full breakdown, something like that, I'd be happy to do it. Let me know. Uh, but thank you guys so much for everything. You guys know how much the likes, comments, all that stuff helps me in the algorithm. Uh, YouTube really doesn't like uh, that one four letter word that starts with a K and I normally use to uh, call the shot. So I tried to edit all those out. So that's why there's some goose clucks over stuff. But anyway, appreciate you guys. Uh, stick around, hopefully uh, we'll catch you on the next one.